I'm a firm believer that everybody should lift weights, not just do something active every day, like take a walk or find some physical activity you like. No, everyone needs to lift some damn weight because it'll change your life. Here's the problem. For years, every time somebody was struggling to get their dumpster fire of a body back on track would come up and ask me, you know, what should I do? I'd always give an answer along the lines of, well, there's a lot of different versions and variations of fitness out there. Just try them all, see what you gravitate towards and do that every day knowing full well that that's not the right answer and it's not gonna help them change their life because all those other forms of exercise, they fall short. You see, lifting physical weight gives the ability to face adversity and succeed on a daily basis. You get to test what you think is possible and ultimately come to the realization that you're always capable of more. <laughs> you have any idea how rare those opportunities are for somebody that doesn't lift? They're few and far between. Maybe in high school, they studied really hard one night, got an A on a test. And five years later, with some liquid courage, they asked an eight and a half for a number, and they got it. And then 10 years down the road, they worked really hard, got a raise at their job. That's it, three times. And even more important than that, it teaches you how to fail. If there's one invaluable skill that I didn't have before that lifting really helped me cultivate and develop, it's letting go of that fear of failure and actually welcoming it. But what you come to realize is that the gym is just a beautiful little encapsulation of life. And just like life, the more you're willing to face crushing defeats, the more you're gonna grow. But make no mistake about it, failure sucks. It is the sluttier and slightly heavier friend of doubt. And if you let it, it'll keep you from reaching your goals. But if you learn to live with it and lift with it, it's the ultimate teacher. And that's why I never understood when people question pushing sets to failure, because how else can you ensure you're not half-assing those sets? And even more than that, I think it's critical to face failure on a daily basis because it disarms it. My favorite quote is, an undisciplined life is an insane life. And the only way to lift effectively and not just pick shit up and put it down, but actually use those weights to mold and sculpt your body as it transforms is to live a disgustingly structured life. And this is the part where you're gonna face the most scrutiny and people will turn on you. They're gonna say things like, it's not sustainable to live life like that, or it's not healthy to be that obsessed with one thing. The moment that happens, I want you to take a step back and look at their life. Not just the way they look, their physical appearance, because I guarantee they look like a fucking potato. No, everything, their finances, their relationships, just their overall happiness, and ask yourself, would I want their life? Now look back in history at people who've achieved amazing things. They all had one thing in common. They lived incredibly structured, and obsessive lives. Because you could stumble upon an average life, but you gotta eliminate a lot of bullshit and have a very detailed plan to have a great one. Lifting forces that skill on you. And I know that people that watch this channel are a different breed. So if you haven't had somebody come up and ask you how to unfuck their life, don't worry, you will. Just do me a favor. Let's start telling them the truth. They need to lift some damn weights. And before they give you an excuse like, you know, I don't like working out of the gym, stop them right there and say, I don't care if you don't like it. In fact, if you do it right, you're not going to. Programs linked below, get after it. <laughs>